the news that we've been waiting for for over a year now. Yes. Apple v. Epic Games. Apple v. Epic Games v. Google Play Store. Now, I read The Verge, and they've summarized... They're trying to summarize it like everyone lost. The okay. Verge doesn't know what the hell Epic Games is after. They weren't after entirely just we don't pay Apple in their store. Mm. They were going after that they can put in their app, they can direct you towards how to buy all the Epic stuff outside of Apple. And they got that. So... The, the Verge writes, on Friday, a California judge ruled that the influential Epic vs. Apple lawsuit and the both sides lost. Wrong. Um, not the first time The Verge has gotten something wrong. I'm not sure if anyone's ever seen How to Build a Computer by Verge, but that was wrong. Um, judge <laughs> Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers um, concluded... It wasn't like that bad, but anyways, uh, you know, neither here nor there. I think we're going to have to have a stream about watching that video then. And yeah. we'll invite some of our uh, building friends on and they can Sounds explain good. to the world. Back on track. Uh, Apple was unfairly so concluded that Apple was unfairly monopolizing the mobile app store. Um, so they were not, wasn't unfairly monopolizing the app, the uh, mobile app uh, space with iOS or its in-app purchase system. And she ordered Epic Games to pay damages for violating its developer agreement with Fortnite. At the same time, she ordered Apple to remove its anti-steering rules policies banning developers from telling users about alternatives to Apple's in-app purchase system. So basically now, Fortnite, or Epic Games, they have other games, but their main one, Fortnite, can put right in there, go to Fortnite.com, and purchase your coins there. And they can sidestep Apple's 30% cut off of all of their, um, all of their um, earnings. That's a huge amount of money. That I don't know who you think. I don't know how the Verge thinks both sides lost. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say oh. right now. The Verge is a bunch. Whoever wrote this from the Verge is an idiot. Well, and, it, go ahead. My perspective on both sides losing is one. Apple is going to allow developers an uh, um, they have to make an option for people to pay directly to the developer if they want. I think, right? I think that's what I read is like there's got to be an option um, for like... them to pay through. And then uh, on the Epic Games side, the, the court, I think, didn't rule their practice <clears throat> to be illegal. Which is kind of strange, but here we are. Yeah, so like, sure, Epic Games is taking a hit because she's saying, like, their lawsuit wasn't just or whatever. And I, I bet I'm, I'm sure if you actually look at the lawsuit and like, it probably says somewhere like Epic Games lost, but Epic Games won in a big way because if you look at what Epic Games was getting out of Fortnite and probably some of their other games that Apple was cutting out for 30 percent yeah that's huge profits that epic right, games right, now right. now they so what what apple should have done is negotiate with like okay you're like our biggest income stream from gaming right now on mobile app or if not the biggest one of the biggest right apple Pretty should much. have made a negotiation of like hey we'll we'll cut you down to like uh 10 percent or something or five percent or something that still would have been a very pretty penny for apple but apple took it to court and now not just epic games and fortnite can put in their games that oh you have to you know go to the go to the website and make a purchase to purchase in game coins every game can do that Apple lost. Apple lost huge. The Verge is... Apple, it's pretty big. <laughs> that's a huge that was, loss. Yeah. That is a huge loss for Apple. Like, let's see. Did Apple's stock go down from that <laughs> announcement? <laughs> because... Let's see. Yeah. Apple stock did go down from that. 
So, <laughs> I mean, a stock's a stock and it goes up and down, but um, let's see. 156 down to 149 around when that news went out last week. So, yeah, it took a hit because um, that's a huge revenue stream. And as more developers catch on, like, oh, we can just make a website and do all the transactions through that. Now, some people are not going to want to do that because Apple handles, it, handles all the transactions and everything else. And if you go through a website, you're probably going to have to pay a third party to handle that for you. Anyway, and there's expenses you know, with doing that and also risk because then you have to create a, a secure website and everything for that to happen. Um, so is that worth 30% of your earnings? As for those people to figure that out, Epic Games that already has a website already set up for that for a lot of their games. And because they've already got other systems set up for all that, it makes sense that they would want to do that. So this is going to be huge. A huge income stream lost for Apple. But that's just my opinion.